From Hargeisa, Somaliland, this is CBA. Welcome to the news brief with me, Abdullahi Hassan. Somaliland Member of Parliament from the East Senac region confirmed that Somaliland soldiers had defected to Butland, state of Somalia, on Sunday. MB Abdelkadir Chama Hamoud, however, played down the size of the defection. Speaking to the press today, the MB said the defection claimed by Butland is overblown and that it is in fact a matter of individuals. He stressed that that Somaliland's presence in the region will not be affected by the desertion of soldiers. Abdelkadir Jama Hamoud lamented that Somaliland officials do not put much effort to visit the area and win over the people of the region. This comes a day after the Butland state of Somalia announced the defection of Somaliland's 93 regiment to its side. The Butland State TV report added that the whole regiment has changed colors and joined rankings with Butland. The Foreign Secretary of Somaliland's Opposition Party, Wadani Fadou Masaid, has quit her position and membership of the party. She made the announcement today at her home in her Giza. Mrs. Fadou Masaid said she was discontent with the party's politics at the moment and felt the need to quit Wadani Party and the political parties in general. She added that the nation is at a critical juncture in its history with demands by partisan effort to defend the nation. Mrs. Fadou Masaid denied that she will join any other political party and abstained from day 14 any disagreement is that she may have with the leadership of Watani Party. The Ministry of Labour and Social Affairs of Somaliland is lobbying hard the parliament to pass the election law which includes a quota of cities for women and marginalized groupies. On Monday, the ministry held a meeting to coordinate the lobbying efforts. It was attended by the Minister of Labor and Social Affairs, MBs in sponsoring the appeal and traditional leaders of the marginalized communities in Somaliland. The Director General of the Ministry reported on the outcome of the meeting. He said the ministry has established a parliament task force made up by MBs to lobby for the appeal at the floor of the House of Representatives. A two-day Women Congress will also be organized in the coming days to advocate for adopting the women's quota in the parliament. It will be followed by the marginalized groups Congress, which the Director General of the Ministry said will be held before the debate on the appeal commences. The election bill containing provisions for a quota for women and marginalized groups is on the legislative agenda of the House of Representatives for this session. <music> Somalia on Monday marked the first anniversary of one of the world's deadliest attacks since 9-11 attacks. When a truck bombing in the heart of Mogadishu killed over 500 people, Somalia's government declared October 14th as the national day to remember victims of all terrorist bombings across the Horn of African nation. The bombing shattered one of Mogadishu's busiest business districts. Most of those killed were civilians going about their daily lives when the truck that had been trying to force its way through heavy traffic exploded. The ceremony was attended by top government officials including Mogadishu's mayor Omar Mahmoud Mohammed Finish and the district commissioners. There were also a large crowd of people, most of them youth, to remember the day their brothers, fathers, mothers, sisters, and even friends were killed in the attack. According to the government report, 687 people were killed, 300 injured, and 2,000 children orphaned. The Somali security forces were deployed across major installations in the restive capital Mogadishu to mark the occasion. <music> Somalia's government says it is setting up a national blood bank for the first time in more than two decades. The announcement came on the second anniversary of the country's deadliest bomb attack in the capital Mogadishu, which killed nearly 600 people. The October 14, 2017 plus also wounded hundreds of others with no group yet to claim responsibility. 
militant group Al Shabab often launches similar attacks in the capital. Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khayre said many Somalis die bleeding, with the majority of the victims being pregnant mothers and victims of terrorist attacks. He said the bombing had inflicted indescribable catastrophe on the Somali people, but praised the Somali people for being resilient. Efforts to save the lives of the victims of violence in Somalia are often hampered by the lack of blood bank. That's our news brief for this time. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for our full news bulletin with Yonis Deco.